What's up y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Ray and today I am going to be doing another twist out. I am using the Pure Oils Silk Elements collection. This is the last collection that I got on Black Friday so I wanted to go ahead and get this uh, collection reviewed so I can let you all know what it is that I loved from my Black Friday purchases versus what um, I can leave behind. So what I did was washed my hair. So my hair is completely washed and deep conditioned. It has no um, leave-in in in it at this point. It is just water and that is because I use the shampoo on this side of my hair from the line. It's a sulfate free shampoo. And then on this side, I use the co-wash because they did have a cleansing co-wash and I wanted to compare the two and I'll let you know what I thought about those at the end. I did not have a leave-in for this line, nor did I have a deep conditioner because their deep conditioner has a silicone in it and I don't do silicone. So I went on and deep conditioned with my favorite moisturizing deep conditioner, which is the Camille Rose Naturals um, Algae Renew Deep Conditioner. So I deep conditioned with that because I wanted to make sure I got some moisture in my hair. And like I said, I don't have a leave-in, so I am going to do the lock method today, which I don't normally do um, <clears throat> because I don't normally add additional oils to my hair, but I want to give this the best possible chance I can give it. So my L is going to be, or my liquid or whatever is going to be water, which is already in my hair. The O is going to be the Pure Oils Avocado Oil from the Silk Elements line. I'm going to use that as my oil. And then I'm going to top it with the cream, which is the Tantalizing Twist Cream. So we're going to try to do that. I did get the marmalade as well. And the Twist Cream does say to, um, after cleansing and conditioning, apply the twist cream to wet or dry hair in small sections before twisting. And then it says, if you want extra definition, you can top it with the marmalade. So as you can see, it says nothing about a leave-in conditioner. It just says shampoo and condition, which I deep conditioned and then apply the cream. So, okay. So guys, I'm sorry. I apologize if my lighting is a bit off. So anyway, um, let's, start out with the back section and like i said there's nothing on my hair but water at this point and i am just going to go section by section a little bit of that oil so the water is the liquid then the oil And then I'm going to get a little bit of the cream, apply it to those ends first, work my way up. And I do have my dimming brush to kind of make sure my hair is detangled because I did feel like it was somewhat tangled, more tangled than usual. So. First one. Add the oil, especially to the ends. That's the driest part of our hair. Cream. So what I think I'm gonna do is just use the twist cream on this side. Then on this side, I'll do the twist cream and top it with the marmalade. That way I can see the difference between the two. If one side holds better than the other, if one side is shinier than the other. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. 
Okay, there's the first three. Okay, so these are what the twists look like on this side. I did part my hair because I did not want a center part, so I parted it where it would be more of a side part. And I will say that the products seem to be soaking in pretty well in my hair. So now we're going to start on this side. And like I said, I'm still gonna use the twist cream, but I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of the moisture marmalade. Um, moisturizing marmalade to see if it gives it a stronger hold. Like it says, this marmalade is very, you see that? It's very liquidy, snotty-like. Um, and this is the texture of gels and custards that my hair normally does not care for, um, at least for wash and go. So I'm going to see how it works for this twist out. Hopefully it does not flake. It said it can be used together. So I am taking the manufacturer's word for it. <laughs> um, and we are going to see. So again, adding the oil on top of the water, which is the liquid. This is the oil. Gonna add the cream. little bit cream and then I'm going to top it with a little bit of that marmalade and let's see how it works The first one, it does seem like it's a little bit whiter than the side without the marmalade.
like so. So, there we go, I'm done. That's the side with the marmalade. This is the side without. And I am going to let my hair air dry overnight and I'll come back when it's dry and do the takedown and show you the results. And today I am going to be taking down these twists that I put in yesterday using the Silk Elements Pure Oils collection. <clears throat> so um, I will say that they look somewhat frizzy at the site. They um, still feel like I added oil, oil to my hair so I can still feel a little bit of oil on my hair. So I don't know that I'm going to take it down. Guys, we are stuck in the house for coronavirus. Um, and <clears throat> I'm sure some of you are as well. And so, um, my son is home for a month basically. So this week and next week is considered his spring break. And then two weeks after that, they're still out um, because of the coronavirus. So he doesn't have to go back till April 10th. So that's a month of him being in the house and he is usually one who is on the go with basketball workouts, with practices, with games and so forth. But because they're saying to stay away from people, everything has been canceled. So that's unusual for him. So he is getting a little bit um, antsy. And with that said, um, I am probably gonna have him be in a few more of my videos just to give him something different to do while we're in the house um, and some vlogs and things of that sort. So hopefully you guys will be interested in that and will stay tuned for that. Um, it should be fun and interesting if he lets his personality shine because he is a funny character. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so here is the side, the definition with, can you see that? with the marmalade and then here is the definition without to me they're pretty similar um, I don't see a real huge difference Anyway, guys, you get the picture. I don't have on any earrings, but okay. So hopefully my hair don't look too wild. It's hard to see in the viewfinder. Hopefully it looks fine. Let's just go ahead and get into the review. So as you know, I use the Pure Oils 
um, collection by Silk Elements. I use the moisturizing detangling shampoo on this side. I will say that this shampoo did have a nice lather to it. The smell is nothing to write home about. It doesn't smell real bad in the bottle, but once it hits your hair, um, it just doesn't smell all that pleasant to me. I will say that um, it does not have enough slip to detangle with, so I would not try to detangle with this shampoo in my hair. I do feel like it cleansed my hair. I don't feel like that it had a lot of moisture to it. It just felt like it was missing something. You know how sometimes you will put a shampoo in your hair and you can feel the moisture in the shampoo, in the suds, when you rinse it out, your hair still feels somewhat moisturized. It doesn't feel stripped. My hair did not feel stripped with this, but it still was missing something. It was missing that hydration or that moisture or something that I normally get with um, moisturizing shampoos, especially because it says moisturizing and detangling. I don't feel like it was that moisturizing. I don't feel like it was that detangling. Um, so, Anyway, that's that. Then on this side, I use the Pure Oils Conditioning Cleansing Co-Wash because I'm a co-wash girl. I like to co-wash, so I wanted to try it out. It has pretty much the same smell as the shampoo. It's not that great when it actually gets wet with the water. Um, the texture of this, well, I'm sorry, I didn't show you the texture of the shampoo either. The texture of the shampoo is it looks thick. It looks somewhat like a gel a little bit, um, but it's clear in color and it smooths out, you know, quite well or whatever. And it gives you a lot of suds. So that's the texture of the shampoo. The texture of the cleansing co-wash is pretty similar to a cream. Um, Pretty similar to the Onion co-wash if you've used that. Or the, it's somewhat lotiony, or the Mosno Hair co-wash. I don't know if you've tried that, but anyway, it's, it's, it's basically a, a white cream and I felt like it did, um, if you use a whole, whole lot of water, you could detangle with this. I was able to detangle with it, but again, I wash my hair in the shower with the water running down on my hair, so my hair is always in a downward motion. I don't know that you would be able to detangle with this as well if you are in a sink with your hair flipped over that way, and then you come back and you're trying to detangle. I don't know about that. I don't think it has that much slip to it, so I wouldn't detangle with this unless you are someone who does your sh um, shampooing and your hair washing in, a sh in the shower. Um, I've had better cold washes. I don't, I felt like this was a little bit stripping. I felt like this was more stripping than the shampoo, if you can believe it or not. And I didn't like that. This should be more moisturizing. Um, and I didn't feel like it was any more moisturizing than the shampoo. So that's my take on these. If I had to choose one to use, I would choose the shampoo over that. And that's, that's a big deal. I would choose the shampoo, but um, to be honest, I probably wouldn't repurchase these unless I had no other choice. But just to let you know that the shampoo features grapeseed oil, olive oil, aloe vera. It's ideal for waves, curls, kinks, and coils. It's safe for color treated and chemically treated hair is what it says. And it has no silicones, no sulfates, no parabens. So to let you know that, the cleansing co-wash is also free of paraben sulfates and silicones and it features avocado oil olive oil shea butter and it's great for waves curls kinks and coils and safe for color treated and chemically treated hair as well so that's that after i used those i went in with my deep conditioner because i didn't get the deep conditioner from this line because it has silicones in it and i do not do silicones so I went on and used my Camille Rose Naturals Algae Renew Deep Conditioner, which I love to add some more moisture into my hair. I felt like it did add um, some moisture after using these two products. And then I went straight in with the um, twisting cream because I did not pick up a leave-in with this. 
but if you read this it says after cleansing and conditioning apply the twist cream to wet or dry hair and it says for best results apply it to damp hair twist and then if you want more hold top it with the marmalade so it didn't say anything about going in with a leave-in before this it has pretty much the same smell in the bottle i will say in the bottle it doesn't smell bad it's just a light sweet scent so this one has sweet almond oil and honey to help attract retain and seal in moisture aloe soothes the cuticle while jojoba oil gives lasting shine and it's for kinks, coils, and curls as well. So I went on this side with that. I do feel like um, it's a soft hold. I don't feel like the hold is, it is any different from this side where I use the marmalade. I do feel like this side has a little bit more frizz um, to it and I do feel like it could have a tad bit more moisture. It does feel oily because I added that oil. So some people will think that that's moisture. That's not moisture to me. My hair feels soft. I got a big clump right here. My hair feels soft, but it doesn't feel real moisturized in my opinion. So on this side, I went in with the twist cream, topped it with the marmalade. So the marmalade has the coconut oil and shea butters to help nourish, moisturize, and strengthen, while the honey and passion fruit oil helps to reduce frizz, shrinkage, and add definition. It's good for waves, curls, kinks, and coils. And I believe I showed you the texture of it yesterday. Very thin, slimy, much like a really thin, custard um, or gel very much the consistency of the Maya organics coil coil sculpting custard or something like that very much um, similar to that in my opinion it's also free from parabens alcohol and silicones and um, so I applied it to this side of my hair this side um, does not look as frizzy. The ends stay together a little bit more than this side. So I will say that this does add just a, tip, a tad bit more hold um, for your hair. Um, I don't think it's really any more shiny -er than the other side, but you tell me what you think. It's hard for me to see. It's a soft hold and again i can feel the grease or the oil i should say oil instead of saying grease i could feel the avocado oil on my hands i don't know if you can see the shininess on my fingers from it but it doesn't necessarily feel that moisturized it has a little bit of moisture, but it's not gonna last. I can tell by by the feel of my hair that it's not gonna last. I'm going to have to probably re-moisturize my hair tomorrow. If I don't do it tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna have to do it the next day. And um, I'm probably not going to use these products to do it because they don't have um, enough moisture for me. Now, I will say that all that that I put on my hair, I don't see any flaking, so that is a plus. Um, so what I will say about these two is that they did give great definition in my opinion. Um, I will put the marmalade on top of the twisting cream to give it more definition but I would not use these two for moisture. So what I would do is make sure that I either had a nice moisturizing leave-in under these that mix well with these, um, or I think my hair would be more moisturized too if I went in with a really moisturizing co-wash, then a nice deep conditioner um, and then put these two in, I think my hair would have a little bit more moisture, but because I went in with these two that wasn't moisturized, my deep conditioner had to kind of 
re do everything. Um, and then I went in with these two and it was just okay on moisture. But I will finish these up. Will they stay in my rotation? I don't know because I like um, other ones better that have the moisture that I need. But I don't think these are bad products. I think this cream is a nice, it's a thicker consistency, but it's thin enough where when I was putting it on my hair, you saw that it was pretty much soaking in. It wasn't sitting on my hair for a long time. So I like that. Some creams that are this thick, they will sit on your hair for a minute. So, and this is, these products are very affordable. We can get these for around five, six dollars, I believe. So if you're on a budget, I would say give it a try. Make sure that you are using something moisturizing under it. If you normally do the lock method or whatever for your moisture, do the lock method and then go in with your styler um, or the LCO method and then go in with your styler and you probably won't have any problems. But because I did not leave a leave in, my hair is not as moisturized as it is. Like I said, somebody's touching it today will say, oh, your hair is so soft or whatever because it is a soft hold and it looks okay, it has some definition, I can get away with it, but it's not gonna be lasting moisture like um, some other products that I use. Um, but anyway, hopefully that answers your questions. Um, I'll probably use this, you know, just on my ends or something like that. I don't know how much I'll use it. I may even give it away because I'm just not an oil person. But that is it. That's how I feel about these products. Hopefully I answered your questions. If I didn't, leave the questions in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them um, later. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you're following me over on Instagram. And until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.